Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, ever wondered what happens when you freeze a lipo battery? Well, I just took this fresh out of the freezer. She's nice and chilled. I um, thought I'd do this because a buddy of mine and uh, me were talking last night about this very thing. Um, both kind of curious, so we thought, hmm, let's run a test. Well, I'm still at 4.17 volts. Oh, that is cold. It's been sitting in my uh, freezer uh, for the last uh, uh, since two, so hmm, five hours. So went in there around two o'clock this afternoon. So two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven. Yeah, five hours. So um, let's see what happens when we uh, plug her in. Pretty good. Well, I would uh, pretty much say. If a lipo battery gets really, really cold, um, yeah, it's not going to hurt it too easily. So I guess uh, as far as the myth on, you know, getting lipo batteries cold, I've uh, pretty much busted that one. Um, apparently it was thought that if you froze one of these things, it would kill it. And... Um, Apparently not. So, now we've had a little bit of running there. Let's see how much of a dent we made as far as taking down the juice goes. And we are at 3.9 volts. So that's not bad. That, that's that's cool. That that's doable. I mean, that was full throttling it pretty good, and you know, just for that little bit. So, and that still gives me a lot of flight time. Three point. Oh, it's starting to warm up more. Three point nine five volts. So, yeah, three point nine six. Three nine seven. Interesting. Three nine eight. I think I'm just gonna let the camera roll here. I'm gonna watch this thing for a minute. Now, when we first tested, it was four point one seven, and we just ran it for just that little bit there. 399. So the battery's coming back up to room temperature. Four volts. Looks like it's pretty much going to stay. Uh, at four volts now and the battery temp has warmed back up so just by taking some drain out of the battery it warmed up the the battery inside and oh 401 so our effects that we've made on the battery now when I put this um, in the freezer fully charged um, it was at 4.2 volts I took it out it was at 4.17 so that's really a minimal drop for being frozen for the last five hours we ran it for that little bit there it took it down to 3.9 and now that the battery's had a chance to get discharged a bit and you know it's warming up inside it's getting uh, its juice back 
and we're now at 4, 4.03 volts. So I would say it's not going to harm the battery at all having it cold. Now, if you look at regular alkaline batteries, um, my stepson actually buys a big bulk of them, um, boxes of 100 at a time, because he goes through a lot of them in his game controllers, and he leaves his in the freezer. Um, and the batteries do keep longer, and he'll take them right fresh out of the freezer, throw them in the, radio, the, the remote for his game, and away he goes, you know. Never a hiccup. Now we're at 4.04. So that's an alkaline battery, but lipos are a little bit more of a, you know, volatile type battery, right? And uh, so for five hours in the freezer, that little bit of running, now the battery's pretty much warmed back up to room temp, and uh, it's jumped back up from the 3.9 we first checked it at after we ran it. Now it's up to 404. Um, I'd say we did not do any harm whatsoever to the battery at all. So if anybody says that freezing a lipo battery is going to damage it, I would say um, no, and here's your proof. Um, 405. So I'd say if there's a myth behind this like we were talking about, I'd say we pretty much busted that myth uh, wide open. So yeah, if you... Uh, Freeze your lipo battery outside. Don't worry about hurting it. It's uh, obviously not doing any damage at all. So let's do another little test here. We'll just plug it right back in. I'm not going to mount it in the quad this time. Okay, now I'm going to just hold the quadcopter down. I'm going to hit full throttle and we're going to run it for, for a minute here. Plenty of power. You know? There's half throttle and I still got plenty of power. Okay, let's give the power a check. See what's happening. We're at 3.88 from that little shot. So we'll let it sit for a minute and see if it recovers any of it. Oh, 391. Boom. 391. 392. So we have not done any damage to the battery and even with a little bit of a drain we've done this would be a normal thing to happen anyways you know so I don't know guys I uh, I think those are pretty good numbers and uh, I think we've uh, done a pretty good job there so uh, if you want to know what happens when you freeze a lipo battery apparently it doesn't hurt it at all so Anyway, um, any comments, questions, feel free to ask and do the best I can as always to answer them. Thanks for watching.